friends welcome back to kidayo this is story time story of a sleeping beauty can you see a king yes this is a king this is a queen and this is a princess this story is about this princess this princess is called sleeping beauty so let's begin with our story once a beautiful little girl was born to a queen the king decided to give a party and he invited seven fairies he forgot to invite one old fairy this old fairy was very angry the angry old fairy came to the party uninvited i was not invited to this party but i have brought a gift for the princess it's a curse she cried on her 16th birthday the princess will prick her finger and die saying this the old fairy flew away the king and the queen were very sad one of the fairy decided to help she said the princess will not die when she prick her finger she will only fall asleep she will wake up when a prince kisses her Years went by and the princess grew up. On her 16th birthday, the princess decided to take a walk through the palace. Finally, she came across a small room. The princess saw a old woman sitting in the room and spinning. The old woman was actually the wicked old fairy. "Would you like to spin, princess?" she asked. The princess agreed. but as soon as she tried to spin the princess prick her finger and at once she fell asleep the unhappy king and queen put the princess in a beautiful bed when the good fairy heard this she came to the palace she put everybody in the palace to sleep too now they would wake up only when the princess woke up from her sleep a hundreds year went by a thick forest grew all around the palace and hid it only high palace tower could be seen one day a brave prince was hunting in the forest he saw the palace tower and decided to go in The prince entered the palace and walked from one room to another. He found everybody asleep. At last, he entered the room where the princess was sleeping. The prince looked at the princess. The princess looked so beautiful that the prince gently kissed her. At once, the princess woke up. Everyone else in the palace woke up too. Soon the prince and the princess were married. They lived happily for many, many years. So with this, we come to the end of the story. Goodbye. See you in our next story.